Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today I'm going to be doing the next few stages, stages 39 to 44 of the Agora Models release of Build the RMS Titanic. Now remember, this isn't available in every territory. If you want to check where it is with Agora Models, go on to agoramodels.com and I have put your link down in the video description there and check if it is available in your territory. It's definitely available in America, so uh, you'll be able to get that for yourself. Now, last time we worked on this, we were working on the engine and the shafts for the propellers. We're going to be continuing that today, and then we're going to move on to some of the deck pieces. So uh, it's been a long time coming. I haven't done these for a while, so much so that I've actually got two packs here. So today I may do one pack, tomorrow we'll do another pack and see where we end up. I think that'll probably take me up to something like SU50 or something. We'll have to see how that goes. Dying to get into this, so without further ado, let's get cracking. So, stage 39, as I said, just a quick flick through the magazine here. And as you can see, we are going to be working on these engines, clamping the shafts into place, putting a turbine and walkway on, and then just doing the last of the details for that. So by the end of it, it should look just like that. So once again, all these builds come in the box and you can tell which number it is because it is written on the box there. Get these out. So let's bring over what we've been working on the shaft before. I will probably tidy this electric wire up because we're not actually needing that for a while. It is still in the test board in mine, as you can see. And over these six points here, 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 and here, we have got these little brackets to put in to hold everything into place. Now they're gonna go on this way here just like that. And they're gonna be secured down with AP screws. So because there's six of these to put into place, it means we've got 12 screws to put in here. So I think I will put these in and we'll come back and see how that looks. So as you can see, they're now all in place. Next thing I wanna do is take the condenser and turbine assembly. This is what we created in the last pack here. Now, as you can see, we do have a small lug and a bigger lug, which is just gonna match these lugs here. The end of these pipes here are gonna be going into the pipes that you can see at the side of each engine. So let's get these lined up. I'll put these in these pipes first and then push this into place here. And there you go. That's in place like that. That looks really detailed. Now we've got this walkway to put in with steps. Now as you can see, we do have some little slots on each side of this. If you remember when we did the engines, we did have these little slots. Let me try and point to them. Just onto the yellow sections here. This is what's gonna hold this into place. So let's get this in. Not the easiest thing to get in, but when it's in, there you go. It should look like that. Now at the bottom of the ladders, there's also a peg that when you slot that in, that will keep the ladders nice and flush in there. Hopefully you can see that. And now I've got this lovely selection of pipes here to put in. So I think the best thing to do is I'm gonna put the pipes in and then show you on my phone exactly where each one goes. So 39E is gonna go in first. They do want us to put a little bit of super glue in here to keep these in. So I'm on the port engine here and that's how that looks. So as you can see, I've got one, two, three, and this long shaft here, four. I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side. And once again, that's the starboard side done. All I'm gonna do then, a bit of glue just onto this hole here. And on this long rod that we put in, and I've got this piece to put in to join that. So I'll put one of these in. And it goes in just like that. We're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. Perfect. Very detailed, but that's how that looks. All that's left to do then is put the shaft plate on. You see we've got one on this side. I need to put one on this side and they do supply that in this stage. Once again, this is held in just with some super glue. Hold that for a second. They're both in place and that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay. 
okay in stage 40 here again quick flick through the magazine and as you can see we're now going to be doing the shafts for the propellers we're going to be installing these and then what we're going to be doing is adding the anchor to the is it the uh, port side i think can't remember which side that we need to put the anchor in it's basically sharing the same link that we have with the other anchor so by the end it's going to look just like that look how good these propellers are looking look you've got the bigger one and you've got the smaller one here and the other one here these are all metal they look excellent okay so the longer shaft that we got here we've got three shafts is going to house the smaller prop here so all we're going to do is that's going to go on the end just like that we don't use glue at this stage at the moment we're just putting these on the end so we've got that one looking like that and then on these shorter ones we have the larger props one there and just one on the other side now they are angled in different ways so you need to make sure you check the angle of these when you put them on that's the way around that they're going to go now i know which order they're going in i'm going to bring over the engine room bay again and put these into position here so the first one's going to go in here make sure you feed it all the way down to where it goes there they do have a little d-shaped as you can see on the end we're going to do the center shaft one now perfect and lastly the port side excellent and that's all three of those now in place now we do need to hold these in place and that's what these brackets are for so this bracket's going to go on top like that we got one doing exactly the same thing on the other side in the center i've got this one that we had left over from the last pack that's just going to go in there on this one here we've got the larger bracket which is going to go on there like that and then just at the end i've got this one looking like this just going to go over the top like that there doesn't want to stay in <laughs> now these are going to be held in with the ap screws as you can see they're all in down i'm going to zoom out my side camera here because they do want me to just test this again now to make sure this is all working so i do have the test board here plug that back into a usb-c and then i can turn the switch as you can see they're working in that direction and as you can see they're working on the other side as well now this is obviously spinning this way round this one's spinning this way round this one's spinning this way round when i go back it's just those two that spin the other way they all spin as you can see successful test that was definitely a hold your breath moment then <laughs> let's put that to one side all i've got left to do then so i'm bringing this over is as you can see on this winch here we've got the anchor in the port side here so when i push it down it retracts itself there i've got an anchor just to put in the other side here and this is going to do exactly the same as last time we're going to be putting it through the hole just inside here make it go all the way to where it was before and i'm just going to clip this in just like the last one don't know if you can see that through the top but they're now both in and now both of these anchors we can push them both down and it will pull both of them into position now and that is all there is to do in that stage now my anchor chains weren't different lengths if they were you can use this adapter here but they're exactly the same length my one so i'm gonna admit that not have that on okay i've cleared up that propeller section now it works so i'm just keeping it to one side uh, let's look through the magazine this is stage uh, 41 i believe yep looking like this and as you can see we're going back to doing some deck pieces now we've got the forward boat deck and bridge looks like we're going to put some electrics in this we are going to be testing these electrics as well so by the end it's looking like that i like how this is in a little brown envelope this is great <laughs> but this is what that deck's looking like and the first thing to do in these areas here and here i've got some leds to put in and they look just like this now the led part of this this side is going to be facing down so when i put this over the top 
it's going to go on like this and it will still be visible out the side you see now be careful when you do push this down you don't want to break the part i'm being very gentle getting this into place so when it's in it should look just like that there do the same on the other side so the wires are coming in towards the middle here as you can see we are going to be plumbing these wires around in the channels there there we go that's in the other side and now let's put these wires in to get these in you sort of make a loop with them and once you've got a loop you can just push them into place and once we've done that we can pass these cables just through the holes that we can see here so one's going that side there see how neat that looks the other one through here make sure it's in the channel and there we go that looks like that now we get to test the lights so we'll just turn this over here we've got the battery box here so I plug one of these in and as you can see that's on just like that as a matter of fact let's turn off one of the lights you can see what that looks like do the same on the other side again make sure you lined it up correctly as you can see that lights working perfect as well all that's left to do there is turn this deck over where these wires were and again you really do need to make sure that they are embedded in this trench because we are now about to cover them by putting this top over like that take your time on this one because you do want this to be perfectly flat when you're finished that's one side done here just do the other side there you go that looks really good that's all there is to do in that stage in stage 42 here let's see what we're going to be doing uh, it looks like we've got some details to put on that deck now so that's what we're going to be doing obviously those uh, lights we put are the navigation lights so we're going to be putting some covers on them and we've got some details then just going into the deck looking like that okay the first section we're going to be taking is this front wall and bridge and on these sides here we're going to put the colors for the navigation lights now they come on this little sticky pad here and I need all three of these because they're going into different positions. So the first one's got a hole in the middle. Now this is going on the starboard side. And I'm going to put that in here using tweezers to help me get this lined up properly. And then the flat end to push it down. So that's on like that. The second one is going to go on the floor area here. And again push that down and then the smaller one is just going on to the back wall so when it's done it looks just like that I'm gonna do exactly the same with the other side and there's the port side done as well now if I bring this deck over obviously where the lights are is going to light each side of those navigation lights It's coming on from this side here but you want to get these front bits here onto this section so it does have a little bit of a bend in it which will enable you to do that so that's that side in do the same on the other side don't be afraid to give it a little bit of <laughs> i don't know what the word is don't be afraid to be a bit forceful with it it's getting the center bit set up and then we're going to be using some CP screws to keep that into place. I only want you to hold them in with these two. With these here, you just need to really push them in so that they go on the lugs on the other side. You heard that click in then. So now that's in perfectly like that. You may have to just flatten your deck again where that's now pushing down on it. But that looks pretty good. Now we've got a couple of lenses to go in and they're going to go into the colours of each side. So I've got a green lens to put in. They do have a little D-shaped pattern in them and they should be quite a tight fit so you shouldn't need to glue them. But you do want to make sure that they go in all the way. 
so they look like that. Let's do the same on the port side and that's the port side as well and then I'm gonna light one up again just so we can see how that looks. No idea which side this is. That's the starboard side there. Let's have a look at the port side. And there you go, that's the port side in place there. Okay, another bit of deck detail to go in there, which looks like this. This is just going into this front section just here. So let's get that stuck in. Honestly, putting this in is like laying carpet sometimes. <laughs> now we've got five telegraphs going in. This is what a te telegraph looks like here. They're going to go in at the front here. So I think it's probably best that I push all of these in then you'll be able to see the position that these go in. Now they're saying use glue if necessary. I'm just going to see how these fit. They are really, really tight to get in. So I always use a little bit of oil here just to help push these in and I won't use glue. You never know when you might have to take them out. <laughs> now there is a certain way they go because they do have like a keyhole pattern in them. This is the last one, just going in here now. And there you go, when they're in, they should look like that. We've then got two platforms to put into place. One's going here, one's going here. Now they have got different size lugs, so it should help to identify how to line these up. And just push those all the way down. That's one, do the same on the other one here. I've then got two binnacles to put in. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Again, these do have a little key shaped hole. So these can only go in one way. And again, they do hold each other really well. So I'm not gluing mine. The second binnacle goes right up to that bridge section there. Then got two pillars to put into place. They're going into these holes here, one this side and one the other side. Now we've got these things here, now they, they're calling these uh, Pelorus, is that is that the right name for them? I've never heard of that term before so I admit I'm a, I'm a novice when it comes to some of this stuff. <laughs> so one is just going in that side there and the other one is just going into the other side over here. Now I'm just following the same direction that they've got in the instructions, but they're in like that. And now I'm going to make the wheels here. Let's just get these parts over. There's some tiny bits to piece these together here. This is going to be fun. Again, it is saying use glue if necessary. I'm hoping it's not because I don't want to lose the tiny bit that we're putting in. And I, it's so tiny, I don't know if I can show you this. Look. Check that out. Let's get this in. It's like building a watch. <laughs> there you go, that was fun. Check that out, look how tidy that is. Gotta do that again now. And there you go, that's two complete. These are just going into the positions just here and here. That's one in, <laughs> very detailed. Let's put the second one in. And there you go, that's all there is to do in that stage. Check out the detail there, that's excellent. In stage 43 that we got here, I'll just keep turning here. Again, showing you what we're doing. And it looks like we're adding even more uh, walls and stuff, breakwaters by the look of it, to the deck. Uh, we are putting another light strip in and we are going to be testing that as well. So by the end it's looking like that. Okay, so bringing this deck over again, I have these bulk decks to put in place. This one is going on to the port side here. So I'm going to line this up. There is holes already for this. This houses the navigation light as well. And push this into place. Make sure they're all in. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. So as you can see, we've now got housing above that navigation light. Do the same on the other side. And once again, that's the starboard one in place. 
couple of details here now going on each side. We want this tray here on this side facing towards the middle. So this one's going to go in this side here, just a push in. And again, it's up to you if you glue these. And just one going in the other side. So both of those are now in place. We've got these tiny lamps. They're going on top of these structures here. I'm going to see how these fit and if I'm going to need glue for them. No, I think they're going to be absolutely fine. So that's the lamps in. Now these parts here should protect this when I put it over the top like that. So I think we're good to go there because we're going to now put these lights in. They're going to be clipped into these positions here. So it's going to be looking just like that. We want the LEDs facing upwards. So put one side in first, then support it just at the clip and push in. One and here. Two. So now that's in place. Now we want to plug these wires in. So the one that says L, it's got a little L on it there. It's going to plug into this first plug. There you go, that's all the way in. The one that says M is gonna go into the next plug along. So they're both in like that. Once again, we do get to check this now by plugging the third wire in. That's gonna go into the very end plug here. I'll bring it up just through this hole for a second. Turn the lights down so you can see this. Plug this into the test board. And as you can see now, both lights are on. One and two. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Just turning the lights back on, we do have these two plates which to use later on. So in the last stage of this pack, this is stage 44. Again, quick flick through. Very detailed model this one is, so it's one of these taking your time bits. Large bit of deck here, which again we're going to be putting some of the decking pieces on. Looks like we're going to be merging this with the deck we've already just made there. So by the end of it, looking good, it's going to look just like that. Again, the deck is inside one of these envelopes. Pretty funny. Okay, we want it round this way where you've got these little steps here facing upwards. Not that way, we want it that way there because we're going to be putting the decking into position it's going to go on kind of like this so this is just a dry fit to show you how this looks one there and this one is going on the other side so i'll get the backing off of this and put this in place I actually find this easier to match up these patterns here first and then the rest should slip into place now we want to take this deck and we're going to be joining it to the deck that we've just built and the way they're going to join is these two lugs here and the holes here are just going to join together on top like this. It's going to be secured in from the underside, being very gentle, I don't want parts flying out. And it's going to be secured in with AP screws first off. Needs two screws here. So from the other side, as you can see, that's now looking like that. I'm going to turn this back over and I'm going to apply some glue just to these areas here because we've got these metal plates which are going to reinforce that. So I'm just dropping glue onto these points here and put these metal plates in. That's one and just do one on this side. Making sure they're fully engaged in the part that they're meant to be supporting. There you go. Two. That's perfect. Now I'm just going to leave that there and bring over the two funnel sections that we've made. I'm going to be putting these two parts together. So as you see, we've got this section here with the holes here. And underneath this section, you can see where this is going to go. Just like that. They're going to be secured in with GP screws. I'm going to try and hold this into position with my hand. 
just like that, which should give me enough support to put these screws in. And that's the second one. And with those screwed in, that is all there is to do in this stage. Remember, we still have these plates left over from two stages back. I'm not actually sure where this goes, but by the look of it, it's going to follow this sort of... Uh, let's try and get this on how I think it might go. I think it follows this shape here. So if that... Oh, God, this is confusing. I've got to do this because, you know, it's me. <laughs> I think that's going to go on to that section there. Which means that's going to sit kind of like that, I'm guessing. I'd have to feed through these wires, I'm guessing. But I want it to sit flat. I just want to see if I can get it to do that. I think that's kind of how this is going to look. That's pretty impressive, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's it for another pack. Hopefully I'll start the next pack tomorrow and uh, we'll see how far that one leads us. But I really do hope you like this. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care. Thank you.